lot is expected from this particular forum, this governor's forum, because it's the first after the civil war. And it is also the first where we have multi-party governors and deputy governors. So the spectrum has changed from the first or from the previous governors forum. There are some other issues that will uh, uh, that are important. Uh, the security arrangements, security arrangements, which is the backbone of backbone of the agreement. We are now facing some difficulties because of uh, non-completion of the security arrangements. We are trying to double our efforts. You see that phase one of unified forces are uh, graduated. I strongly encourage you to see the constitution and upcoming electoral processes as important benchmarks in the march towards peace and stability. I would emphasize that a sense of urgency is required not a business-as-usual approach. Excellencies, while the parties have coalesced around political benchmarks, it is equally important that they strive to make progress on the transitional security arrangements. There is now a collective duty to finalise a coherent command and control structure for the graduation and deployment of the necessary unified forces. The formation of these forces is, of course, only an initial step in a complex but essential process of constructing national security institutions that serve the interests of the nation as a whole, ones that are its symbol and its mirror.